Dash is dash is dash is dash is dash is dash What is dash? Time for another one of our uh, video reviews, and uh, diving into some vinyl here. Um, Richard Young's new one, which is a, I mean, uh, it could be. Uh, I'm just going to use the Roman numerals C X X I, which is Roman for 121. Apparently, it's 121st album. Which, uh, note to self, don't go completist on Richard Young, because it's probably very bad for your health. However, it's hard really not to, to like the guy if you like your experimental music. The thing about Richard Young's is you never ever know what you're going to get. I mean, I do because I've already listened to this. But but when you first listen to a new Richard Young's, it's like, well, uh, what genre are, are we going to be today? And what's your approach to it going to be? Um, let's drop the needle. Uh, now, this is one, I, I love it when he does this with his vinyl releases where it's like um, one long track on each side. It's usually a sign that we're going to get... Um, so pretty nice and laid back normally. That's my rule I found with, with him. If I see, uh, so this one's got side A's Tokyo photograph, side B is the unlearning. Um, and this one's out on Black Truffle Records. Now, I may have been slightly late reviewing this because I think the vinyl is now gone, but, 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 Black Truffle's Bandcamp still got the digital files, so. Don't worry. And maybe the vinyl's in stock at some shops or, or, or there's someone on Discogs who, who's got terrible taste and decided to sell that copy. So here we are, side A, Tokyo Photograph. Um, so you've got that lovely, slow, nocturnal... It's one of those nocturnal Young's albums to me that, that his albums often sound to me like they've got different times of day. Um, and, and this this one has got the uh, after dark, uh, house is empty, everyone's gone to bed kind of feeling to me. That, that pacing, slow, slow drum. And his, his vocals are very, very, very spaced apart. And then you've got like a, that trombone drone uh, provided by Sophie Cooper. there. I think it was on the Bandcamp site that there was a comparison made to Robert Wyatt and it's hard not to. It, it's like a take Robert Wyatt, deconstruct him even further and extend and stretch it out. I'm going to uh, lift up the old needle and we're going to uh, travel in time to further along the record. And you're going to see what it sounds like. Uh, we, we got, you know, about fifth of the way in there, maybe. Maybe a little bit less. Probably sixth of the way. I'm going to jump forward to about like the last sixth, last fifth. See, as to that. It's the same vibe. That same. And each word's like elongated. It's very. Uh... And then what's that sound there? It's like a recording of a, a river going under a bridge or something. Look at some voices in the background. It sounds like a field recording. Uh, there's some great spot. And there's again that trombone. Let, 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 let's throw it into a sentence, right? It's 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 um, it's Robert Wyatt remixed by Laughing Stock Era Talk Talk. Sorry, crassness. It's all part of music journalism, isn't it? You know, we you, you oversimplify and, and make ridiculous comparisons just so people can uh, 
get what something's like, which is probably pointless because it's a video review, so you know what it's like. And this side too is called the unlearning. We're going to drop it at the start and then probably just do the same thing again. Uh oh, mosquito. Pucker. I thought they'd all died. I guess it's not cold enough yet in Arizona. Well. Absolutely the sibling of side A, right? Um, it's like it's different, but it's cut from the same DNA. It's that same pacing, that same space, that same uh, late night feeling, which is, is ironic because I've got those uh, Arizona blue skies there behind me. And as a it doesn't say about organ, it just it does mention sine waves. I'm not a musician, but to me it sounds like some kind of organ. But what? Well, some lovely little electronic echoes buried deep in there. It's like he's got the Radiophonic Workshop collaborating and then put them really low in the mix. So you have to like. No background listening, you have to totally focus on it to pick up all those parts in there. Just, just minimalism and it's, and it's be most beautiful. And I'm going to take a look at the same trip we did with Side A. We're going to travel in time, we're going to go to about halfway through. I, I do love, and it's the most piece that just keeps on gently evolving. So here we go, about halfway. And you see very much totally in that same space. It is one big, long, beautiful track. that's him doing all, all of that you know there's uh, so we did the, the trombone drone on side one but everything else is him the, the drums the sine waves as it says the tape echo and oh, <coughs> oh sorry Ugh. must be some of that desert dust getting up my nose right, let's move on as I was planning to before uh, my compromised nasal passages kicked in here we are almost at the end. You see, it's that same organ sound to me. And the same drum pattern there. If you hear it squeaking, that's just the fans. Uh, it was nice when I came out this morning, but after tidying up the garden a bit, I felt a bit hot. So, you get every chance you can to be cool. Records seem incredibly joyful, and some of them seem a little more, more melancholy. This one feels a lot more along that side. So, uh, yeah, 121 albums. It's uh, absolutely incredible. Um, I'm, I'm really, really. I was joking. Actually, one of my friends, like you know, love Richard Young's. Can't go complete on it. Mustn't go complete. That's going to be so, so bad. But when he keeps doing things like this, the, 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 it gets harder and harder and harder to resist. Oh, it's to that. It's that fade out there. That, it's, a, it's like, I, I listen to his albums and I'm loving it, but part of me is like, help, help. I think I'm getting into a, a, a musical cult here. And a, 
it's going to hurt me financially. So, um, you know how there used to be, uh, back in the 70s and 80s, there used to be like budget reissue labels, you know, where you could buy, uh, like, like, like they, they put out the first Velvet Underground album and it would be a nice price sticker label on it or something like that. We, we need a, a Richard Young's budget reissue campaign for those of us who were, who started to succumb to his uh, Pied Piper charms. So, uh, yes, 121, if we're going to be accurate, is another is another gem in the Young's canon. And uh, uh, sorry if you can't get the vinyl, but definitely go get the download. Definitely, definitely get the download. It's good. It's very good.